Hello people, hello again. Uh, first of all, I should say accept my apology for making this video so late. Actually, I was busy with my semester exams, so couldn't get the time to, you know, reply to your comments and couldn't make any other video. So without wasting more time, let's let's start with your questions, and I will try to give uh, appropriate answers to your questions. Let's see if I can make it. Okay, so let's start with the questions. So first question is, can three years of course of our Indian system of graduation, can we directly apply to the scholarship after graduation of three years? Yes, of course, you can apply uh, for the scholarship after graduation of three years because it doesn't matter uh, at all. Uh, like me too, I, I completed my graduation in three years and uh, uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's whether it's three year or four year you can apply for the scholarship the next question is i graduated from high school in 2017 can i apply for this scholarship in 2019 yes of course you can apply for the scholarship in 2019 if you have proper graduation degree it doesn't matter with the year in which year you have completed your graduation you can just apply for the scholarship in any year if you have proper degree so the uh, next question is like uh, divided into three subparts and uh, one more question. So the question is from which stream you are. Uh, so for your information, I completed my graduation in microbiology from uh, India. And uh, here in Korea, I'm doing masters in bio nanotechnology. And through which track you applied for the university? I applied through embassy track. Uh, every universities have KGSP scholarship. No, every university doesn't have the same KGSP scholarship. Uh, it's like 65 to 67 universities are registered under this program and you can apply. Uh, you can go to the KGSP guidelines and can find the universities, appropriate university that can, uh, the university that is providing the course you want to study. So you can go to there, uh, you can go there and can, can find the proper university for you. So did commerce stream exist there or not? See, uh, I I didn't see any commerce thing here. It's like yes, yes, of course, uh, there will be some specific courses uh, that are related to commerce that comes under commerce stream. Yes, you can apply for that for sure, and we can do bachelor in accountancy as I just mentioned that you can go and check the universities and the type of courses and the kind of courses I should say uh, they are they are giving you. You can go there and can apply there. And the next question is, I want to do masters in Korea. So what is the minimum percentage or CGPA I should have to be eligible in SNU or for the scholarship? See, uh, if we leave SNU on one side and see the scholarship. So the scholarship CGPA is near about eight, eight, I think. Yeah, like eight or more than eight. So you, you must have that then only you can apply for the scholarship and on the other side if you are asking for SNU I'm not sure the the CGPA asked for SNU so it depends on university uh, if you are applying through university track you can go to their guidelines you can check the the specific requirements they want from you uh, to get admitted in their university so the next question is in blog one I saw you were staying in an apartment yes I'm, uh, I stay in an apartment like uh, it's on rent so how much is the rent per month so it's like three uh, three twenty dollar per month and uh, gas and the electricity bills they are separate is your university soul based yes my university is soul based it's like it comes in one of the uh, soul based stations and that's Garchan university station one another question is is ILS necessary for the program see I don't know if ILS necessary for the program or not because uh, I don't have any IELTS certificate and that time also I didn't have any IELTS certificate so uh, but I got the scholarship I don't know how so this is the thing I think uh, I should reply this question like this like it depends upon the country I should say so it depends upon the country from which country you are applying so I don't think for for India it is necessary to have IELTS uh, certificate so yeah so the next question is from victor i like your question man do you recommend selecting one sky university and two other normal universities uh so i have bigger chances of being accepted see man you you got it right and you are going on the right track so i didn't want to mention in my blog but 
uh, as you mentioned so i'm telling you yeah it's it's a good idea to apply for one of the sky university and two other normal universities so that you know if you are if you get rejected from any of the sky university so they will be you will have more chances to get selected from the normal university so yes yes you have more chances and uh, the next is send your whatsapp number bro sorry man i cannot send you my whatsapp number like i cannot uh, send in this comment box you can you can send your number in this comment box i will i will contact you for sure that's my promise and the next is sir actually how much scholarship you get on monthly basis so <clears throat> the thing is as i told you before so it's like uh like any other master scholar here me too i uh, uh, i was getting 900 dollar for the near about 900 dollar for the first year of my korean language graduation and uh, as as an iid promise like if i would get the topic 5 they will increase it to 1000 giving 100 more so yeah i got topic 5 in the first year so now i'm getting 1000 near about 1000 dollar uh, so the next question is hi sanjay can the bachelor of algeria is for the this scholarship yes of course you can uh, apply for the scholarship i just I just saw the guidelines that there are uh, two seats for Algeria students like one from the embassy track one is from the uh, university track so you can you can apply for that for sure and if he can how to register and when so for how to register and when you can go to my first blog and can see the blog properly I have mentioned uh, the months in which this scholarship comes I'm sure in your country also the dates would be pretty much same like two or more two or three days uh, above or below the uh, other other countries so you can you can of course apply for that you can go to the video or you can go to NIID guidelines and guidelines and can see uh, in which month uh, uh, this scholarship comes in your country so the next is hi congratulations on getting getting though and throw the video was quite informative it would be great if you share your profile which got selected for the first round along with the detailed process sharing your preparations before sending out application interview experience course you have currently pursuing etc maybe a video on above topics is a great idea yes of course it's a great idea uh, <laughs> so the thing is okay i will i will divide your question into uh, different segments and i will try to answer it so the first is if i can share my profile which was selected for the first round so the thing is uh, i had i had like uh, uh, 9.8 cgpa in my graduation so i sent those certificates for screening by mhrd and uh, uh, apart from that i had like my my school certificates like my uh, senior secondary uh, certificates and stuff like that although in the school i didn't have that much uh, good percentage it was near about 80 percent so uh, yeah it was it was like that and uh, they asked me like three to four questions like uh, uh, first question was which are the different three universities you want to apply for uh, like i applied through embassy track so there they will ask you uh, which are the three different universities you want to apply and then the next question would be uh, why you chose these universities over others so you have to apply you have to answer for that also like for me i just i just wrote like this this that i searched on the internet and i i found these universities are providing the course i want to do so that's why i want to apply so it was it was pretty uh, uh easier answer i could i could write there so <clears throat> yeah and the next question they asked me was like uh, uh how this scholarship can help to India and uh, uh, what will you do in your future if you get masters from Korea like this and so you you don't need to worry about these questions I think you can you can reply whatever you feel whatever you genuinely feel about about those questions you can you can write it over there and uh, okay so next thing is my interview experience so i should say my interview was pretty funny for me <laughs> i think because uh 
I went with the you know preparation of the questions like why you want to go Korea, why uh, why you selected Korea over other universities, what are the future benefits to India if you get your scholarship or if you get the scholarship or if you get masters from Korea like this these kind of general questions like why they choose me over others like this general questions that anyone anyone expect to uh, hear here from the interviewer so the thing is there were two interviewers one was indian and one was looking like korean i don't know if he was indian or not or he was from some other country but he was he was not at all looking like indian so he was looking like uh, korean or like these asian people so the thing is uh he started talking the the indian interview he started talking in hindi uh, i was i was not expecting that uh he started that and he uh instead of asking me why i want to go to korea or why i selected korea he started okay your name is sanjay i said yes yes my name is sanjay and you got 9.8 i said yes i got 9.8 in bachelors and the thing is and then uh he started like uh what is your favorite subject and the uh, Uh, before i could think something is just my uh, the thing came from my mouth uh, is like bacteriology so he started asking me about bacteriology he started from a very simple question of bacteria like oh man how you can isolate the bacteria from this thing it is a very general and uh, very simple technique uh, uh, someone could ask from a bacteriologist or microbiologist like who did um, bachelor's in microbiology so he started from that and ended up with a very 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 hard questions that i couldn't even think that even now i don't remember what he asked actually so the thing was that uh, there were there were two acs in the room and i was like sweating <laughs> uh, because of the questions like i was replying and they were asking me i was replying and they they were asking it was like this and it continued for like 15 minutes and i came out of the room and generally telling you when i came out of the room i thought that i would not be selected at all and i was i was quite uh, you know sad that oh man i i i don't know i i missed my i missed the chance i i i missed the great opportunity that you, i i could study in a foreign country but now no i cannot so i just i just left the interview room uh, interview room and then after some days Uh, i got the result i got selected in one of uh, those 13 students in that time they selected 13 students so yeah it was like that it was it was pretty funny but at the same time it was like pretty funny because because they asked me opposite exactly opposite what i thought that they would ask me yeah so it was like that uh, course you are currently pursuing as i told you here i'm doing masters in bio nanotechnology and uh, yeah so that's that's all So the next question is uh first of all congratulations on getting a scholarship i want to know that what to write in study plan and goal of study what is the difference between them so the thing is <clears throat> there are three or i think four columns i i opened in my laptop now the same form i i submitted that time so there are three or four columns like the first is form number 2 that where you have to uh, introduce yourself is letter of self introduction where you can tell about yourself what are you doing that like currently what are you doing or what you did just recently and uh, your personal opinion about life and then why you want to come to korea like what are your dreams what you want to do uh, what you are expecting from korea like these things you you can write it over there and uh, the next form is form number 3 is statement of purpose where first column is goal of study and study plan so i was a i was a, a bachelor student so here goal of study and study plan would be uh, the things that i wanted to do in my masters so here i explained about the things i wanted to do in masters so that my goal what i want to do and the study plan like uh, how what i think about uh, the the project i want to do uh and what i know about the project basically so i can mention over here and the next thing is future plan after study so here you just need to add like few lines like after doing your masters or after doing the project you are expecting uh what you want to do in future so here you can you can uh, write about your future plans after doing the project like yeah, suppose if you're doing uh, if you are expecting to do some uh, research work 
and uh, you're expecting some results or some output from the research so that uh, what are the future goals of that research you can you can write it over here so that's that's not that hard though you can you can write it and uh, one thing or one tip I, I i want to give you guys this thing uh, for writing this thing is uh, when you write these uh, these things don't go on google or don't search anywhere like oh if i want to write about my uh, myself which is which is self introduction so or what is my view for life just just stay uh, just sit and think and and then you can write you don't need to go to google and search every time like okay if i want to write goal of uh, study so how i can write just just think man like uh, what you think and what you exactly want from korea just think that way and you you can write it you can write this thing so this is this is not hard thing so i think i'm finished with my questions so yeah <clears throat> these and um, these are the questions i got from the last video and once again thank you guys for for giving good response to my videos uh and uh i'm expecting i'm expecting this response for uh for my upcoming videos and thank you so much again thank you again and uh, sorry because i'm uploading this video too late uh actually i was busy with my exams uh, as i told you before and uh, yeah that's all and if you have any questions still you have any questions yes i can i i am expecting some more questions so if you have any question you can write it into the comment box of this video or the previous video i i will try to make my, one more video on uh, depending on the number of questions i will get so if i would get a good amount of questions good number of questions i will definitely make one more video on one more video on this topic so yeah that's all and uh, if you like the video please like the video uh, comment on the video share with the other people so that uh, they can be aware of the scholarship and uh, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the updates of the of the uh, of of my videos all of my videos in the end i'm i'm going to share with you guys one more thing that's the most important thing for me and uh, yeah yeah for me it's like uh, I'm a writer also for those who don't know that uh, I write I write stories and I write books uh, instead of publishing those books I thought to share those books to those stories to you guys through this YouTube channel and I wanted to ask you guys how are my stories am I a good writer or not so I'm expecting uh, your support guys and I'm expecting that you will join me on 1st of January as the first book father to sahab I'm going to start uh, the narration from uh, 1st of January and I am going to upload first chapter of father to sahab uh, on on this channel so all you have to do is just just subscribe this channel and can press the bell icon so that you you can never miss an update so whenever I will upload the video you can uh, you can get the notification of that video so thank you thank you again for giving this much love to my videos and I'm expecting the same response to my upcoming videos uh, thank you thank you so much Thank you.